Hello, hello, hello. It is Superbook Family Special today. Remember, we've had Mother's Day, Children's Day, Father's Day. Now, when you put all those people together, father, mother, children, what did you get? If you said family, then you're right. Today, we want to take our time to celebrate each other as a family. Not just as a nuclear family, but also as a family, like members of the body of Christ. And like a super book family. You know what I'm saying? Families. See, God puts every one of us in families. And that is a beautiful thing. We're not meant to do life alone. And a family is the best place for us to belong. So here's what we're going to do today. Pause right now. Go and get everyone in your family to join you in watching this episode. Get your mommy and your daddy. Get your siblings, your cousins, aunties, uncles, everyone you can find. And if you can't get everyone right now, then just plan a Superbook family night. It will be awesome. Play this episode again so everyone can watch it together. I must give you a heads up though. You need to open your heart when you're watching this episode because you could miss things out easily if you're not paying attention. So I want you to pay attention, okay? I'll let you watch the episode right now, and then when you come back, we'll have a conversation. This is the man who preaches against our people everywhere. He tells everybody to disobey the Jewish laws. He speaks against the temple. He defiles this holy place by bringing in Gentiles. Ah! Yes, I saw him earlier with a Gentile from Ephesus. Ah! Halt! In Caesar's name. Who are you? I am Paul of Tarsus and a Roman citizen. He brought an unbeliever into the temple. It is forbidden. Stand back, all of you. Paul of Tarsus, since you seem to have started all this, I am placing you under arrest for causing a disturbance. You're coming with us. This is Carol Cooper Action News, coming to you from the site of the massive flood that has devastated the coast of this small nation. Donations of food and medical supplies continue to pour in, and concerned people are flying in from everywhere to help, including a gentleman we've just met, Professor Quantum. Professor, can you tell us what you've brought with you? That's my family and our friend Joy. They insisted on coming to help. Actually, Professor, I was referring to this. Oh! <laughs> This, well, yes. <clears throat> well, as you know, a big problem after any flood is polluted drinking water. But my ultraviolet chloramine-based purification system works deep in these wells to produce fresh, clean water within hours. Oh, these mosquitoes are everywhere. Do not worry, Joy. I believe the snakes will eat most of them. Eh, snakes? If they don't drown in all this mud. Oh, Chris! Joy. Could you bring four more cases of sterile gauze? Right away, Mrs. Quantum. Joy, would you please bring another case of antiseptic and more cotton swabs to 10 free? Oh, and those suture kits. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Joy, how's it coming with the gauze? Joy, can you hurry with those suture kits? <laughs> Joy? Your eyes are leaking. Oh, Giz. Chris, I just... I just can't do this. Any of it. I want to help. I really do. I felt it in my heart the minute we heard about the trouble here. But the bugs and the mud and all of those people who need help... 
I just didn't think it would all be so, so hard. Superbook! man who faced obstacles that seemed impossible, yet he never lost sight of his mission. Prisoners, halt! Captain, preparing to board the prisoners for Rome. Bring them aboard. You heard the captain. Move it along, you'll get another taste of my way. There is no need to strike them. friend is very unusual. Oh yeah, he's definitely one of a kind. <laughs> you okay, Joy? Oh, Peachy. I went from mosquitoes and mud to chains and a prison ship. <sighs> My life just keeps getting better. Joy. During the time I spent in prison, I realized God's power is strongest when I'm weak. So, if he keeps giving me his power, I will gladly brag about how weak I am. Yes, I am glad to be weak or insulted or mistreated or to have troubles and sufferings, if it is for Christ. Because when I am weak, I am strong. We should all pray for smooth passage to Rome. Rome? We are going to Rome? <laughs> How exciting! I'm on my way to stand trial before Caesar. You sound almost happy about that. Stand trial for what? Well, causing a disturbance. It was in Jerusalem. I was preaching about Jesus to whomever would listen. I was accused of bringing a non-believer into the temple. It wasn't true. They demanded the Romans put me to death. But of course, they could never prove their charges. Several nights later, Jesus appeared to me in my cell. Be of good cheer, Paul. For as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness at Rome. Since then, my case has been heard before two Roman governors and King Herod Agrippa. Finally, as a Roman citizen, I had a right to be tried by Caesar himself. And so here I am, on my way to Rome. All right, 
Which of you prisoners wants a little fresh air? I need a crew to clean the decks. Don't pick me. Please don't pick me. This can't get any worse. Joy? What about you, Christian? <gasps> That's enough. Captain, would it be possible to loosen our shackles just while we are at sea? Captain Julius, you cannot allow this filthy bunch of slaves to- Unshackle all of them. There is nowhere they can escape. I'll be keeping an eye on you, friend. I believe there is trouble ahead if we go on. Shipwreck, loss of cargo, and danger to our lives as well. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. Captain, we must continue on. There are not suitable harbors here. It is a poor place to spend the winter. The crew knows these waters. We should continue further up the coast to Phoenix. I beg you to reconsider. I must get to Rome safely. You have no cause for concern. The ship's captain believes his crew knows what they are doing. <laughs> what does a prisoner from Jerusalem know about the open sea? There isn't a storm we can't sail through. <laughs> <laughs> According to the current barometric pressure for Kino Nemesis formations and wind velocity, there is a 57% chance of swells. Get the skip off deck! Thank you. Pray to your God for us. Be afraid, Paul. You must be brought before Caesar. What's more, God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. God in his 
Lord's goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. So take courage, for I believe God. It will be just as he said, but we will be shipwrecked on an island. He seems so certain. His faith never wavers. Never. Jesus said, if you had faith even as small as a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it would move. Nothing would be impossible. Faith, huh? Well, as a soldier, I've always relied on a sharp sword to move my mountains. Shallow water! Shallow water? That's good, right? Good? That is excellent! Only 20 fathoms deep, and it's getting shallower by the minute. We must be near land. Drop anchor before we hit rocks. But, Captain, do what I say. Yes, sir. Drop anchors! Drop anchors! See any land? Not yet. We should get back below deck and pray daylight comes swiftly. Please, eat something now for your own good. Here, let me help. Land! Oh. Land ahead! <laughs> Prisoners escape, we'll be to blame. So I say kill them all! Starting with that one! No! <gasps> There'll be no one killed on my ship. Least of all, this man. <laughs> all right, I want everyone who can swim to dive in the water and head for shore. Those who can't grab anything you can find and start paddling. No problem. Hop on! <coughs> Safe at last. Just as you said. Paul, do you think anyone can be accepted by your God? Jesus welcomes all who seek him. According to my readings, we are on the island of Malta, about four days' journey from Rome. Uh, guys? Looks like we've got company.
They are called marshmallows. Trust me, they go great with fish. escape the sea, justice does not allow him to live. Do not be afraid. The snake has not harmed me. It is impossible. Truly, you must be a god. I'm merely a messenger of the one true god. I'm on my way to Rome to preach his word. Your god must be very powerful. Perhaps he can help our leader's father. He is old and very ill. Saved my father. I can never thank you enough. You may not be a god, but you are truly a man of God. There is a ship coming in three months' time, stopping here on its way to Rome. And if that is what you wish, I promise you shall be on that ship. Meanwhile, you shall be a guest in my home. I thank you for your kindness. Paul, I don't get it. Why go to Rome? Why not stay here in Malta? These people love you. But in Rome... Thank you for your concern, Joy. Jesus told me I must bear witness in Rome. And that is what I will do. Unbelievable. After everything Paul's been through... A riot, prison, that horrible shipwreck, a deadly snake bite? Seems like nothing can stop Paul from his mission. And I was having a hard time with some mosquitoes and a little mud. Superbook! Now, where were we? Oh, right! You were covered with mud, and we were trying not to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to work, huh? Does that mean it's not as hard as you thought? No, it's still hard, but I believe God wants me to do it. So that's that. Whoa! This is one of the reasons why I just love watching Superbook so much. Superbook is accurate in bringing the Bible to life. Did you, did you experience that? The Bible tells a story and Superbook tells it exactly the same way. Just like this episode we just watched now. Have you ever read the, epi uh, the, the story of the shipwreck in the Bible? Read the whole chapter of Acts 27 and Acts 28 to see it. it is, it's just like what you watch. But let's get on with our nuggets for today. Did you notice something in the episode you just watched that happens in every family? Joy was so sure that God wanted her to help with the flood victims. But she was having so much trouble with the mud, the bugs, too many people needing her, that she broke down in tears. Now this was the part that just made me so happy. The first thing I noticed was that Chris and Gizmo, as always, came to check up on her. 
Doesn't that sound like something a family member would do? Exactly. Family members are those people that we need. We need them always to be there. And we're always there for each other because we need each other to survive. Sometimes we go through hard times as a family, just like the sailors, you know, when they were at sea, in the middle of the storm, water, the boat moving. And as kids, we may not know everything, but one thing that will always get us through any storm as a family is prayer. See what Paul did? Paul prayed to God. And as he prayed to God, while he was praying, God showed him that though the ship would be destroyed, no one was going to die. Another thing to note is that God is always with us, even when it seems like things are not going well. Just imagine Paul's life. He was arrested. He was shipwrecked. He was beaten by a snake. Only one man. <laughs> but God was with him all the way. That snake bite should have killed him within minutes, but nothing happened. So anytime you find yourself feeling like, ah, God is not here, I feel so alone, just remember that God is always with you because he has promised to always be with you and he will always rescue you from every and any situation you find yourself. It may not be easy, but God is with you. And because he's with you, he will make it possible. Look, one of the scriptures I love so much that reminds me that God knows what I'm going through and he will always sort it out is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It is my all-time favorite scripture in the Bible. It says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. That's from the NLT translation. So regardless of what it is that is going on with you right now, whether your parents are struggling to pay school fees or whatever it is that you're showing, maybe you have an exam, you don't know how to start reading, God is going to turn it around for you okay that means that you can totally trust in him you can trust that god is able to do just what he says he's faithful and so he will do it so the next time you find yourself in that difficult situation where you're worried you're feeling overwhelmed what do you do let me hear it you would pray exactly and after you pray you will trust that everything will turn around in your favor speaking of prayer i think now is a good time for us to pray we can talk to god about anything so are you ready? All right, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you because you are a good, good father. We know that you care for us and you have called us into your own family. We are members of your family adopted in Christ Jesus. We thank you for the privilege of being called your children. Father, right now as I'm praying, I'm just remembering a child, a boy or a girl somewhere who feels like, oh, I don't have a mom, I don't have a dad. Maybe they lost their mom or they lost their dad or for some reason, they feel like their family is not complete. Father Lord, we ask, oh God, that you be a father to such a child right now, that you be a mother to such a child right now. Help them to feel complete in you. Help them to feel complete and whole in you, that they will always come to you just the way they will run and embrace their daddy if their daddy was here or if their mommy was here. Help them, oh God, to know that they always have you, to have their faith and their strong trust and complete dependence and reliance in you. We give you all the praise, Father, for being a very good fam father. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for taking my sins away. And thank you for giving me my identity. Lord Jesus, Please come into my heart and make it your home. Help me to be just like you. Lord Jesus, please send your Holy Spirit to guide me every day. Thank you, God, for making me your child. Amen. Woohoo! Hi, Superbook fans! Here's something else you'll love. <laughs> it's the new Superbook Bible app! <laughs> It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! Whoa! No super balls, man. Come and... Uh, sorry. Pardon me. Sorry. Excuse me. Are you getting this? Earn super points to win daily prizes, too. And so much more! <sighs> Time to get back to my adventures. See you soon!
It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Isn't it good news to know that God is always looking out for us? I know. I'm always happy when I remember his promises to me. Now, here's what we're going to do from now on. Whenever you feel alone or overwhelmed or tired or depressed or whatever, whenever you feel down, the first thing you should do is talk to your father, God. Ask him for directions on how to handle the situation. Then the next thing, you talk to your earthly mom or dad or a sibling or even a close friend. Remember what I said earlier, a close friend sticks closer than a brother. That's what the Bible says. So a good friend is like a brother. God gave us family so we can depend on each other. Your family would help you either by praying with you or giving you advice on how to handle whatever situations you're faced with. One thing is sure though, you do not have to go through anything alone. You can even call us your super book family if you want us to pray with you, if you want us to talk to you, or just share some time with you. It's time for us to go now, but we know that God is taking care of you and God loves you so much. And guess what? We do too. All right. Bye for now. See you again next time.